What inspired you to work within the space industry? What's your story behind it? Um, well, you know, as many kids, when I was five, I wanted to become an astronaut. I wanted to go to space. And then I set up my life to reach that goal. And eventually, the astronaut contest in Europe uh, didn't give me the result that I was expecting. So if I'm here, I'm not an astronaut, right? So, but all my, let's say, education, competence, and learning uh, was enough to say, OK, I will be in my own space spaceship, and I will go to space on my own. And uh, so I worked for that. And then I ended up uh, with a major problem in space, that is a space debris. If no one solved the problem of space debris, I cannot fly to space. And no one else will use the space anymore. So I started my, my company to solve the problem of space debris and move forward in space transportation business. How do you make a difference within what you do? Yeah, that's actually a very good question. So we are among the, the few aerospace companies worldwide to be uh, B Corp for benefit corporations. So we like to make profits as any other company, but we want to make profit in such a way that we can deliver to the society also some benefits that are not just in terms of using our products, but is in terms of improving the life, the quality of life of, our, of the, human, uh, the human being. And uh, what we do is not only managing internally our employees or like suppliers and that, that we do following a very specific strategy, but also in terms of uh, enhancing the life of people in space, uh, cleaning up the space using our products. We look up in the sky at, uh, in 2040, what do we see? 2040, yes. so in 2040 uh, there will be some activities in space, uh, well developed, so there will be people traveling in space for fun, it will be still expensive but uh, feasible. There will be some industrial activities at, at the very beginning, uh, we will still be around our planet, uh, not much uh, far away from there, there will be some travel, maybe Elon Musk will be able to go to Mars eventually and some people with him, uh, but mainly concentrated around our planet. We, there will be a, like an industry uh, coming out of our inner space around the planet. Oh, so you will have the chance to go there if you want. You pay oh, the I'd ticket and, uh, and you go to space. What's the experience so far at the World Space Risk Forum for you? It's, um, it's my first time at the World Space Risk Forum, so um, I didn't know what to expect. You know, we usually go to many different forums and conventions and uh, exhibitions. And, but actually, it's very concrete. I like the theme of the, of the forum. So how to build a, like a new type of space using what we have. So how to change the direction in order to be, uh, let's say, to, to have a, an outcome that is uh, like benefit for everyone. I really like the team and the people that actually are here are very interesting people to talk to, a very good networking event. And I'm, 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 I'm planning to go the next year or like the next session as well. What's driving commercial space startups is the topic of your panel of speakers. Can you tell us a bit more about that? What I think if I have to answer the question that is the title of the panel is, well, if you, if you want to just make money, you choose to go for software. Uh, if you just want to, uh, you know, just to focus on uh, like short term objective and then spend your life on the beach, then you don't choose space. You choose space because you have a vision, because you have a dream, because you like what you do. Uh, you are inspired every day, even if like 90% of what you do it's like very difficult and challenging. It's the 10% that actually it's so satisfactory that that give you the motivation to move on and then to, to continue what you are doing. And so I think that what is really driving is, yes, let's build a business that can change the world, that can give a, another hope to the humankind, that can show that actually we can live in another environment, like in the past we, we did for water, air, and soil, and now we are doing with space. Space is another environment in which we are going to live in the future. Luca, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.